16 years ago, civil rights leaders led a rally at the Lincoln Memorial to advocate for the civil and the economic rights of African Americans. During the march, Dr. Martin Luther King delivered his famous speech, I Have a Dream, in front of 250,000 people in an effort to end racism. Today, Chinese Americans in the United States of America gather together in front of Lincoln Memorial to break the silence, to demand equality and fairness, and to tell the rest of the world about our dreams and pursuits. It is a monumental step forward to pursue democracy and equality. 150 years ago, various California laws were passed to discriminate against Chinese Americans in California. On May 6, 1882, Chinese Exclusion Act was passed to ban Chinese immigration to the United States. The Chinese Exclusion Act was not repealed until December 17, 1943. On October 6, 2011, in the Senate Resolution 201, the U.S. Senate acknowledged that Chinese Exclusion Act is incompatible with the basic funding principles recognized in the in Declaration of the Independence that all persons are created equal. Number two, deeply regrets passing six decades of legislation directly targeting the Chinese people for physical and political exclusion and the wrongs committed against Chinese and American citizens of Chinese descent who suffered under these discriminatory laws. And three, reaffirm its commitment to preserve the same civil rights and constitutional protection for people of Chinese or other Asian descents in the United States according to all others, regardless of their race or ethnicity. However, Chinese Americans still live in the shadow of Chinese Exclusion Act now. Very laws came into being that would adversely affect Chinese Americans. Chinese-looking faces became the symbols of things men and women were attacked and killed on streets because they looked like Chinese Americans. Chinese Americans were bullied, marginalized, and ridiculed on the school campus and the job site because of their country of origin. Chinese Americans lost their cases in the court because of the color of their skin. We're not the Chinese Americans more than 100 years ago. We're here to defend the U.S. Constitution. We're here to cash a promissory note issued by the Founding Fathers that all men are created equal and will be guaranteed the unalienable rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We are here today to end the racial prejudice against Chinese Americans in the educational system, in the professional career, and the legal system. I am an immigrant. I have a dream that Chinese Americans can integrate into the mainstream of this country and display their talents to the full extent. I have a dream that Chinese Americans will not be considered as foreigners. I've dreamed that injustice and oppression inflicted upon Chinese Americans will be transformed into an ocean of freedom and justice. I'm an immigration lawyer from Los Angeles. I want to help fellow immigrants to fulfill their dreams as well. They want themselves and their future generations to be judged not by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. No more Chinese Exclusion Act or some more discriminatory acts in the future. Equal justice. No more racial prejudice. Let justice reign from the mountain, from the ocean, from the east coast to the west coast. Let us join efforts together to transform this world. 
champion, but thank you for listening.